Hello, my name is Scott for SP Gaming. We're back here in Grand Theft Auto 5, and in the last episode, we did an assassination mission for Lester. Uh, it's what Lester wanted us for, and right now we are here in a car wash. Oh, okay. Okay, you know Redwood cigarettes? Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. Now, there are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes. No. Oh, okay. Luster of Spooky Beach, Bodybuilder, Muscle Sands, delete this message. Uh, take out the juror. Uh, yep, we got that. The Spoochy Beach, Bodybuilder, Muscle, Sands, delete this message. All targets must be eliminated in the time given. Oh. We have eight minutes to get there. And where is the target? Target is right down there. All right, looks like we are probably going to be doing this for the episode. going to want to go this way. Oh, right down near Floyd's. All right, so. Well, there's a lot of witnesses around, so... Uh, text. Smoochie Beach, Bodybuilder, Muscle, Sands... Seriously. Um, let's go with this guy. Shit! Shit! Someone help me! Or not? Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's just stay here. Oh no. Oh, we have five minutes. We have 1.12 miles. Oh, 
All right. <laughs> Do we get extra time, or are we gonna have to kill all three in like five minutes? You're an asshole, driver. This way. Damn, I ain't got much time left. All right. Text head north, yacht off the coast of Pacific Bluffs near Pipeline Inn. Seriously? Get... Wow! This is like speed dating, except... <laughs> okay, that's a bad analogy. Uh, I need to go this way. Three and a half minutes. I have another mile to go. Yeah. This is a really, I'll say, a really stupid mission just because four assassinations in such a short span of time. What is the... who's the target? Oh, no, no. Look for... Dirty windows. Uh... Let me guess. You gonna have to get up and close and personal. Yeah, I'm probably gonna fail this. Apparently not that person. All right, well. Clips medical tower look for dirty windows. Uh... 
time ran out to assess us. Hello? Jimmy! Is that you? Uh... No, I'm not Jimmy. Aren't you Jimmy? Get to West Vinewood fast. Eclipse Medical Tower. Look oh, I thought you were Jimmy. Dirty wood. You titanic idiot! Nobody's gonna look out for you but yourself. I heard oh, this. Shit. Why didn't you say it? All right, um, 1.22 miles. There is no time to be able to plan this job. Right. This is the opposite of an intelligently planned mission. This is not a Lester mission. Nice drive. for dirty windows. <laughs> Officer, it was this person who was just... Yeah. <laughs> um, oh. Lester can appreciate this shit. All right, in your GPS now, biker Vern, Vinewood Hills, Look for a baddie bike, gotta move. Damn, I ain't got much time left. First of all, is this guy on the move? He is. need to go left well if he's on a bike it should be easy to take out where is he right now Unless he's just stationary. I think he's just stationary. Although, no, he's on the move. Forty seconds. didn't die. Hey, Al, it's done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be in touch. 
the multi-target assassination. Five thousand dollars. All right. Well. How about that? So I am up here. I can head over and check out what uh, this Beverly mission. Let me guess, even more paparazzi where I have to go around, take pictures of random celebrities. Uh, Franklin, you ain't been home. I got worried. Thought about calling you, but you never pick up. An email. <laughs> Typical way you treat your aunt, me. Franklin, you ain't been home. I got worried. Thought about calling, but you never pick up, so I did some digging and found you ain't been home because you ain't home because ain't your home no more. You living up in Vinewood Hills where you don't belong, boy. A word of goodbye would have been nice. Well, you are aware. I've been to the desert to get certified as a pelvic floor exercise instructor. I've been weak down there for so long. Well, no longer, and now I am strong and I will lead. And you are weak, not just as a man, but as a person. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, <laughs> you're really losing yourself, and I don't like it. You ain't got no respect. What if I want to put a women's art center in the home? What if I want to start running pelvic floor classes myself there? Well, as I always say, you come from trash, you stay trash, and that's what you is, boy. I loved my sister, but boy, did she make some mistakes, including in having you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got boundless love to experience your aunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh really response my dear aunt don't do anything with the home I I half own don't put no classes there don't do no pelvic floor exercises there don't do no nothing and don't say nothing disrespectful about my mother she only ever did one truly bad thing in her life and that was giving you a home good luck with that pelvic floor People always did say you were real big down there on account of the number of guys tried you out when you was younger and kept running off. Stay well and stay away from me, frankly. Ah, <laughs> oh, you can feel the love there. <laughs> anyway, let's get out of here. Yep. Go up to see what uh, Beverly wants for us. Baby, Neighbors are gonna see this. All right, so. At that fucking golf course. You know I've got a competition coming up. Look, can we talk about this inside? Oh, really? That's it. Walk away like you always do. Hey, you. <laughs> Listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy. I'll throw some dollars your way. All right, man, I gotta find some wheels first, dog. Okay, I'll wait here and take a good long look at my life, strewn all over the front yard. <laughs> Thanks, man. Just let me grab my favorite iron. Just not getting that. What a mess. A really great wardrobe out for all to see. Whatever. I can't deal with it right now. Can you drop me off at the golf club in Richmond? At least I know I'll be welcome there. You just gonna leave your shit all over the driveway? Yeah, I'm not giving her the satisfaction of cleaning that up. I'll go to the club, get a few drinks in me, and hope either her meds have kicked in or the gin is worn off by the time I get back. I appreciate you doing this, by the way. I, I know it's kind of a weird one. What's your name? Franklin, man. Good to meet you. I'm Castro. That's dumb luck right there. Oh, okay, what is that? It, um, Italian? Spanish? Pure wasp, I'm afraid. My sister's called Muffy, so I think I got off lightly. <laughs> so what was that all about? 
Ah, just the usual psycho female stuff. She thinks I've got another woman on the side. And do you? That's not the point. She doesn't know that I have one. <laughs> okay, guy to guy now. I have a very strict code. Come on! There's a car right I have a very here. strict code. Only on out-of-town trips, no real names, a dead trail. That's a gentleman's way, right? Maybe in the last century it was. Yeah. I'm good like that. I don't want to embarrass her. Then she goes and literally airs our dirty laundry in front of all the neighbors. I mean, show some class. Yeah. So let me get this straight, dog. You pissed because she's accusing you of cheating when she doesn't know you've cheated, even though your ass have actually cheated. Exactly. It's a lack of trust. She'd be accusing me of it even if I hadn't. I've never done anything at that golf club except play golf. And that's the god-honest truth, which is more than I could say about her spin class instructor. In fact, I wonder if her fat ass is admissible as evidence in court. Because if she's doing that much spinning, <laughs> it should be like a bowling ball by now. Anyway, sorry. You don't need to hear this. Yeah, man. <laughs> Whatever. If you just drop me off at the entrance here, that'd be great. Yeah, man. <laughs> Whatever. I think I got the general idea. You vine with people are crazy. Thanks again. Hey, we should play golf sometime. Come by the club. I'm here most days. All right. Castro will soon be available to play golf. Well, about that. Uh... Oh, bother. All right, so back to what I was doing. Did I get money? Did he pay me? He's gonna throw me a couple dollars my way. Although at this point, I just might take a break here and continue in the next episode with more Grand Theft Auto. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SP Gaming. And as always, have a good day.